There he is. There he is. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Good morning, everyone. Grandpa Adler Farms, how are you? Good morning, Adler Farms family, far and wide. Oh, it's cloudy, kind of. There's a little bit of, wait a minute, hold on, hang on. You know, there's, oh, girls, wait a minute. I know, come on, come with me, come out here. Come on out here. Release the McCracken. Here we go. Come on, now, let, oh, you're so pretty. Oh, yeah, oh, look. Look at that, though. That's pretty. Now, you all know that if I were to actually go, if I go that way, which is uh, northeast uh, over there, that's where I get my sunrises over there, you know, on that big clearing. Those ones you've seen, you know what I'm talking about. Anyhow, hi, girls. Good morning. Man, have you ever woke up and felt like you were just like, you were just on go? That's what I feel like today. There's a good reason for that. Uh, hi, Nelly. Let's turn this water on. The reason is, look at this here. Look at here. See my shorts? See them? Got my shorts on. Da, 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 da. Reason I got my shorts on, it's about 65 degrees. But within the next 24 hours, it's going to go from, we're going to have a high of 74 today, high tomorrow 44, low tonight 24. I don't think so. No. We are filming this, I am filming this a day early because tomorrow morning, if I filmed at my regular time, it would be 24 degrees in the morning. I am not ready for that. I ain't ready for it. Now, I told grandma this morning what I was doing and you know, grandma thought, oh cool. I know she did, she thought, great, I'll have an extra day to edit. However, hi girls, I ain't doing it for grandma. I'm doing it for grandpa because I hate to be selfish that way, but I don't want to come out in the morning and have to film at 24 degrees. Yeah, I know at some point, what, what, Nelly, what's up with you? You feel, Nelly feels like I do. What's up, boy? What's up, girlfriend? Come here. What's up? Come here, pet you. Got a girl. Somebody said, can you get, no. Come here, can I pet you? No. So yeah, I'm being a little bit selfish. I, I know eventually I got to film in, in, in the cold, cold, cold. But it ain't gonna be tomorrow. I got news for you. Well, all right, listen. Well, let me go open the door first, and then we'll come back later. Oh, I know what y'all want. Girls, you're so impatient. Aren't you pretty in your dress? Oh, you're so pretty. Hey, let's open this up. Now, you can't be that hungry. Are you, you're gonna get, come out from behind that girlfriend. Here we go. All right. You girls just be patient. Here, eat this stuff. Here, you just be patient. I'll throw you some scratch. Let's see. You know, the big thing, the big thing that I was thinking about this morning is finalizing all the winter prep for tonight. This is what, you know, it's what I've been working on. And uh, that's been going over and over in my head. Here, girls. All night long, what do I got to do today? What do I got to do to finish up? Here, girls, come out here and dig around in the, there you go. Dig around in that, eat that. All right, let me, let me give you the rundown. I take each group of animals that we have and I think, okay, what, what do they need? Shelter number one, food number two. Food number one, shelter number two. Yeah, okay, food, shelter, <laughs> water, all right. Uh, back in May, started that with the chickens by getting the chicken coop, right? That's back in May. I told you back then, I remember doing a video saying, hey, I'm gonna start preparing in May to get ready for winter. And that's exactly what we've done. And it's worked out great. We got the chicken coop. We got the porta huts for the goats and for Smokey, for the pigs. So we're good there for the shelter. Cause we got these porta huts. Those came in, uh, I got those in September. So we've been good on shelter for quite some time for the most part. I am concerned about one animal as far as a shelter. Uh, it's got me a little worried and we'll talk about that too. We've talked about it before. She's got the zoomies. We got zoomies, Grandpa. Where are you going? We got zoomies this morning. Cool. And we'll talk about that as we go. So, food, shelter, water. Whoa, uh oh, there we go. Look at, oh, she's on fire. What are you doing, girlfriend? What are you doing? Hey. Well, hang on just a minute. I know everybody see that. Oh, zoomies, let's get your food. Hang on a minute. Hi, girl. 
Hi, girl. How you doing? We got zoomies. Uh oh, we got zoomies. Hold on. We got zoomies. Watch out. Oh, I'll get you. I'll get you. What are you doing? Come here. Watch out, goats. You get hit by that bus. Whoa, look out. Get her. Come here. Oh, it's good to see zoomies. Watch that tree. Whoa, look out. Look out, goats. Here comes a bus. Oh, honey. Watch those trees, sugar. You made it. Well, are you okay? <laughs> well, those are trees. Smoky. Bless her heart. I may have to cut. Yeah, those two trees are coming out after that. No brainer. Here's smoke. Here, honey. You ready? Smoky's food. One can. Dog food. Dry. Her treat. And an egg. That's her breakfast. And we'll put this here. Take this egg. Come here, smoke. Come on, honey. You're all right. Crack that over that. All right. And that's a good breakfast for you. That's a good start. Oh, yeah. Hey. Listen. Before I show you where the goats are at, Grandma, uh, you're going to want to watch this. Run this, Grandma. Run this video, y'all. And then we're going to talk about uh, how things changed up. Now, you saw what I did. Here's a little slower, complete version. We'll get the goats fed here in a second. In fact, let's do that, and then we'll talk about it. Because uh, it's, all, it's all different. As you can see, I got their food out here. It, I went and got another uh, one, out, uh, one cup measuring thing from Grandma. She's got three of them. Now I got two of them. She said, don't take my metal ones. I said, all right, I'll just take these here. Now, as you can see, there's no, there's no barrier. There's no fence at all. Boys, I'm going to go ahead and put this up here like I always do. So what I do? You guys, what is happening? What? I know. I'm just trying. You, I'm Batman. Get down. We'll get this done. Hang on. Here we go. Okay. So what I'm doing now, I'm taking one cup per goat. And that's it. Everybody gets one. As you can see, I spread out. We'll look at it here in a second. Come here, P-Dub. No, you come over here, little. Come here, P-Dub. Come here. Come here. You go over here, right there, P-Dub. Now, this is fairly, this just happened yesterday, folks. Here we go, right here, buddy. Scoot over here. Well, sorry, folks. Y'all been laying on your, <laughs> you've been laying on your side for a couple minutes. Somebody knocked that down, I guess, didn't they? Oh, all right, so now look how this is spread out. I give them each a cup. I'm cutting back on the grain. You know, it's a little hard when you take this thing here and you just fill it up and then you try to proportion it out evenly. It just doesn't work. Some get more than others. And, and uh, I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna do it by the measuring cup. Now, depending on how fast they eat, 
they should all finish up these three about the same time. My goal was to spread the three big ones out, okay, which I did. And then by the time they start playing this little game, there's not enough, not enough, not enough left to uh, fight over. Oh, they still get a little ornery. You can't help it. That's just what goats do. I just determined that. I took this hay feeder, turned it long ways, and I can move it anywhere I want. But now I opened all that up because there's no reason to have it closed in. Yesterday, I just got and thought, you know what? I'm going to give this a try. I'm going to open this up. You know, I, I felt like maybe it was a little claustrophobic for them in the long run. It just took me a little bit to realize that. I thought I was doing the right thing by having them in a fence, having them controlled. I think it's exactly the opposite. But you know, you live and learn. I like that, I like that a lot better. Let's go feed the goats and then, or let's go feed the, let's go feed the pigs. But see how that's opened up now? Ah, oh, it looks great. Let's get these pigs taken care of. They're going cray cray. Hello, Mags, hello, Sassy. Hi, girls, I, I got you. There's Gray. Hi, Gray. Boy, you're all out this morning. Everybody's up and at them this morning. That's awesome. Everybody gets a cup and a little over. And I tell you what, I have really, I think it's better for them that I don't give them as much food. And they, uh, I don't, <laughs> woo! not using nearly as much food. And I think it's better for them than just letting them eat to their heart's content, which is not a good thing for those piggies. All right, girls. And we'll shake her up. And we do this here. Get that all mushed up. What are you doing, Sassy? Sassy wants some of that pig food. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Tell everybody good morning. Miss Olivia, Miss Bella, she's a little spotted one, and then Miss Lola. So what I got to do, I got to get out here. I, see, run over. <laughs> I drop one way over here. There we go. Miss Lola, here you, honey. And here's, here, right here, figure it out. There we go. Woo! All right. What I do for mags and the ladies, there's scratch, wormies, and layer food in here. Here, guys. There you go. So I'll feed them separately right there get them another handful here we go kids here we go right there there we go what's well, a bunch grandpa's being pretty pretty liberal with that this morning ain't he? sure enough now for winterizing the piggies they've already got their shelter here straw in there this see that little white I think most of you have seen this. I've talked about it before. A little white, uh, right there, white thingy. Let's call it a white thingy. That's just a float, and I keep it just above that level, especially when it's hot. Uh, if I were to fill it all the way up, and then that water gets all, you know, down on the bottom, it gets all green and stuff. I cleaned that out yesterday. It gets a lot of algae in the summertime because of the heat. If I fill it all the way up, that's, that's a lot to dump out. Uh, so I just, in the summertime, I keep it just above that valve. But for winter, when it gets colder and the algae's not such a problem, I'll fill it further up and I'll take my, uh, I got my extension cord, see, ran right here. And it's a, it's a double, it's a dual. So I'll plug one of the heating elements in here and it'll go down in there. Okay, and then the other one, I've got a cord and I'll run it from here into here to the goat's water okay so the pigs and the goats be taken care of to keep the heating elements off the bottom of the thing so they don't make contact i'll put this brick in here i'll wash it off put that put that block in there and that thing fits down inside there and it'll sit on here instead of on the bottom of that i think it's just a little added safety feature chad put me onto that last year and said hey let's do this and i said that's a good idea Let's talk about the free rangers just for a second because I want what I want to try to do is give you my thought process on each You know, I told you on each animal. I think about you know, the groups we've got what's best for them What what's best our three magneto and the two girls? All right, even though This is the old coop plenty of room in there for them plenty of room 
it's perfect for them out of the you know the main thing you want all the animals you want them out of the wind you want them out of that north wind that seems to be a key because most of them all of them actually are cold weather not resistant by any means but you know they can take stand really super cold temperatures with their fur just as long as you keep them out of the wind magneto and the two girls they stay let me show you something the goats love to get up here when it rains all right that's all clean now we're good to go Magneto and the girls, see, they get up here on those boards, all right? And even though there's this chicken coop down below, they don't care. They, you know, they're not using it. So I thought, well, if they're going to use that, you know, if they want to go down below, that's fine. So what I did to block off the north wind, as you saw, I stuffed a, that's a shade cloth stuffed up there. I put that board here. This is north, northwest. So if the wind comes this way, it'll block that off. This right here is, goes up here like so for the goats, okay? I have it down now because it's, it's, it's so warm, and that gives them ventilation. And even during the winter, I don't want to block all that off because I want, to have some, want them to have some ventilation. So the goats, they got a big choice. Two choices. All are good, I guess. It's up to them. They can stay in here, all right? They'll, they can stay out of the wind. They can get up here. You know, no wind's going to hit them here. Uh, they could get down here. The chickens can get up there. They can get down there. They can get in the coop. Lots of options. I noticed right off the bat, the last three days, I've been giving them just a cup of food, of grain, and they immediately come out here and hit that hay. And that will be gone by this afternoon. And you know what? I don't mind. I'll give them all of the hay that they want. These guys, he's sharpening his horns or knocking off I guess that helps him grow. I don't know. To me, it just looks like he's hitting his head on there. That's what they do. And then they eat the bark. Look at that. There goes Grandma to work. Hey, let's wave by to Grandma. Hang on a second. Hey, hurry. Let's get down here. Gotta wave by to Grandma. Everybody wave by. Say, have a good day, Grandma. Hang on a minute. Everybody wave by. Somebody, they all wanted to see Grandma. She's waving. There you go. Rolled her window down. Sweet. Okay. Now, let's go feed chickity chicks. Oh, I can't believe 24 degrees tomorrow. Got to be kidding me. I'll tell you what the good part about that is, though. Once we get the cold weather, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to start burning and cutting wood. You know, it just feels right that you cut wood and burn when it's cold, right? Hey, Smoke, you're panting. You won't be panting tomorrow. Some of you may have been wondering, was she going in the doghouse? She's been in the doghouse two or three times already. She, she going in now? Look, there she goes. She may not stay, but she does go in. I don't know what she's doing now. Not time for a nap. She's going to lay down? Nah, she's just sniffing around. Look at her. What is she doing? Now she's going to put more straw in there. Maybe she wants to be down at the dirt. I'm not sure. See her digging? I don't know what she's doing. She's going to lay down. Hello, pretty girl. Are you going to lay down already? Look at that face. She's getting busy. I don't know. I have no doubt, though, she'll be nice and warm in here. All right, finally. Oh, Grandpa, we have been so patient. A little bit of this in here. We already ate down the bottom of that. Let's fill this bag up. Fill that bag up, fill that bag up. Hey, you all want to do, you know what we got to do. We have got to do the wormy dance. We got to. Let's show them. Come on. Let's do it. You ready? Let's do this since y'all are over there. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? A one, a two, a one, two, three, go. Dun, 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 Da, 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 da. It's getting longer every time. Yay! That wormy dance changes every time, folks, doesn't it? Why do we do the wormy dance? Hey, it's just what we do. It's part of Grandpa Adler Farms, and we're going to do it as long as we can because it's fun, right? Okay, the fun is over, Grandpa. We want our worms. 
And when I say wormy dance, we have two things we do. We check for worms under the water. Are you going to check with me? Who are you anyway? Come here, let me look under the hood. Somebody said I need to put initials on these birds to find out who they are. And they're true. I don't know who's who. With the dresses ready. Get ready. Go. Oh, there's a bug. There's one under that leaf. Get it. Get it. Okay. You want to check under this one? Ready? Go. No, not much there. I leave this one empty just in case there's something under there. But let's... Here, y'all want to check under the board? Here, get ready. Now, the other day I lifted this thing and a mouse ran out, but they didn't get it. You ready, girls? If he runs out, he's coming your way. Watch out, honey. Mice? Bugs? Nothing? There's a bug. No mouse. All right. I keep it wet under there. Now, sometimes there's a mouse under there. We do this every day now. We got to... Are you ready? Some of them. Get ready. If there's a mouse, you got to get ready. Oh, any mouse? No. There is a fresh hole under there. I can see it. All right, honey. Let Grandpa set that back down. Let's try this one. He could be under here. Hey, your toe's under there. Well, you got to hop out. You're not that heavy, but it'd be easier to pick it up if you weren't. You ready? You never know. Get ready. Sis, he could come your way, girlfriend. There he is. There he is. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Who has it? Who has it? There it goes. There it goes. Where'd he go? Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Who's got it? Uh oh, that is. Whoa, that's a little red. She's going. To, she's at the 50. She's at the 40. Uh oh, she's hiding. She's at the 30, the 20, the 10. She's out the door. She scores. Oh, she's run out of the stadium. She's completely gone. Little Red, you better get going. They're coming to get you. Look out. Oh, almost a fumble. Oh, she fumbled it and picked up her own fumble up. She picked it up. She's still going. Hurry, get it. She ain't handing it off to nobody. She's not passing it downfield. Hang on, we have to stay with her. Stay with her. Oh boy, it's exciting. It's a mouse in the house. She's still got it. Go, go little red, go. Uh oh, can't go behind there. Uh oh, you got yourself hemmed in. Go back the other way. She's reversed her position. She's coming around. There's only one bird staying with her. Oh man. Oh, little red, that's a, oh boy. Oh my good, there she goes. She's back at. There she goes. She's coming around, uh oh. Oh man, they're in hot pursuit. Oh, look out. Uh oh, look out. Whoa, in between. There we go. <laughs> oh, she went in the. No, there she is. Oh, my word. Oh, well, there, there goes. Oh, they're trying to get. No, they're trying to steal the ball. Hurry. <laughs> uh oh, if the turkey gets in on it, look out. Where'd she go? There she goes. I wonder. They don't even care about wormies right now. Look. They don't even care about their wormies. Oh my word, that's too funny. All right, girls, we gotta get, you girls, you girls ready to eat wormies? Here, come on. Well, I'll have to see if I can get them back around. This will be interesting. That was awesome. That was too, too good right there, wasn't it, girls? That was pretty darn funny right there, man. We, we'll show them old mouse. Mouse, we'll show them mouses. Stay off of my farm. Stay out of my pen. We don't put up with that kind of silliness around here. This is a no mouse house. All right, you ready? Okay, come on. We'll let her have the mouse and we'll have some wormies. Okay, here we go, come on. Oh, there's plenty. You know what? We're missing, we're missing a lot of birds. They're still back there playing with that mouse. Oh, well, they're lost. I can't sit there and wait around all day. Come here, y'all. Here, you get grandpa's hand. There we go, come here. A little more out of the hand. There we go, girls. Very good. Oh, an exciting day here on the farm. Exciting day. Yeah. Okay, no eggs this morning. I've been getting, I don't know, six to eight eggs. And man, they're big, they're hard shelled. And uh, I'll get that here in a minute. So I'm really pleased with the egg production, especially how dark it's been. You know, the days are so short. The mouse is gone. Little Red had the mouse and the mouse is no longer in the house. Yeah, mouse went bye-bye. Unless somebody else stole it from her, and I doubt seriously if she didn't let anybody have it. But let's talk about the one critter, the one critter, not a critter, the one animal that I am not satisfied with how things are gonna be, and you know that's Nellie. To my knowledge, she is not going in here. You saw last video, I moved in this way. She still goes down there. That's where Harriet is sitting right now. My concern is that she won't go up here 
when it gets real super cold, right? So I think the only thing I know to do is to move this down. And I'll move it down to where maybe she's just like right in front of it. And if she gets cold enough, she'll go in. Someone suggested, more than one, why don't you pick her up and put her in that thing? You pick her up and put her in that thing. Can you imagine Nellie now picking her up and getting her all upset? You know, I'm not going to, I'm not making fun. I'm just sitting there going, oh, no, no, no. I ain't going to pick Nellie up and put her up there. You know, I mean, the other birds, I think they go in, you know, I'd have to put a kid. But see, they love it. It's a great place for them to hang out during the day. Uh, but I'm going to slide this whole thing down later this afternoon. And, uh, you know, because we're supposed to tonight. Oh, man, you know, obviously it's warm. And it's going to be cold. So you're going to have something, something come together and cause some rain. There's a 95% chance of rain tonight. So I'm pretty sure we will get some rain. So I'm going to take a tarp tonight just in case. At least if she don't go in, I'm going to take a tarp and I'm going to put it right here above this on top. So if it does rain and she don't have enough sense to get in out of the rain, we're talking about you, Nelly. At least she won't get wet and cold. Uh, I did look it up. Turkeys can stand zero degree temperatures. No problem. If they want to stay out in it, that's up to them. But I put this here to partially block the wind if she's sitting here. I'll put a tarp up here to keep her, for, keep her dry, okay? And then hopefully she'll get up in there. I, I can't help it if she don't get in there. I don't know what else to do, folks. Apparently she just doesn't feel like the, that she wants in. So I, I, she could go down there in the bottom. I, but turkeys do like to roost up high. And, uh, you know, that's, that's the best I can do right now. So we'll see tonight and, and when it gets colder, you know, it really hadn't been a true test. Because if she can stand zero degree temperatures, you know, then she ain't ready to go in there yet. It just ain't cold enough, you know? That is a cool sight right there. All right. Did I ever tell you, and I, you know me, I'm not a big, you know, I don't, I don't always say, hey, do this, do this for me, do that kind of thing. But if you go on Amazon, if you go on my channel, if you order a lot of stuff on Amazon, if you go to, if you're on my, my uh, channel and you want to order something from Amazon, click on the link, you know, the links they put down below and click on my Amazon. If I've ordered something from Amazon or I recommend it, just hit Amazon and then buy it off there. And then 10 years from now, when all that adds up, they'll send me a check for $1.52. Uh, you know, and that's probably be about all it is, but it, it, uh, uh, it takes a long time to, to make a penny. But if, you know, like Grandma, we order a bunch of stuff off Amazon for Christmas. I order stuff off Amazon all the time. And so it, but if, you, if you do that, that'd be cool. You know, if you don't have time, don't worry about it. That come to my head and I just threw that out there. You know me, I, I, don't, uh, I don't worry a bit too much about the money thing, but... Uh, if you're going to do it anyway, you know, and I know there's other channels out there that do that, you know, so if you have somebody else you want to help out, that's fine too. You won't hurt my feelings. I'm not going to cry about it. It'll be smoky. Say, no, but if you don't do it, if you don't order all Grandpa's Amazon, I just may not have any Christmas this year. Oh, now, Smokey, don't tell him that. That ain't true. I think we've already got your Christmas present. Yeah, we do. We already got your Christmas present. How did you eat your dinner? Oh, you ate breakfast. That's pretty good. Pretty good right there. What'd you do, dig a hole? Where are you going? Where are you going? Yeah. Where are you going, Smoke? Smokey, come here. Do we need to talk about anything? Do we need to talk about something? Smokey's got her fur coat growing in. She's good. We're gonna straw up down here. Yeah, it rained hard the other day and no water got in there. We are so happy with these Porta Huts folks. I tell you, they're a little pricey somebody did ask hey why don't you get those doors they make doors that slot you know you can actually buy a door for this get in and out two hundred dollars a piece two hundred bucks a piece no nope, not doing it um you know not right now so and i think basically you know these animals they'll be out of the wind they get in the straw Smokey's got that thing there. I guarantee you next week, next week, by the way, when it gets down to 16, 18 degrees at night, she's just going to lay out here. I don't even know if she'll get in the doghouse. She's just built for this. She's built for it. Aren't you, girlfriend? Yeah. 
thank you for watching my shorts okay i hope you all are enjoying that i like it uh that keep you up keep you informed of what's going on in between regular videos all right some of you said grandpa we don't like the shorts we like the longer videos well i'm still making longer videos it's just an added bonus you know i'll always do my wednesday sunday video but the shorts just are stuff that happens that you may not see in a regular video or i may take part of a regular video and throw it on there that i thought was really cool i don't know but uh i gotta have something to do in my retirement folks i gotta stay busy you know so i'm just gonna make more videos okay love you guys let's keep praying all right listen i don't want always just keep praying pray for one another let's keep that going okay let me know if you need prayer until next time everyone love you bye 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 okay